This is the last step toward returning the area to what it looked like more than 60 years ago. The 61810 burial ground complex was a highly hazardous dump for radioactive waste and we finished cleaning up that waste in late 2017. In the summer of 2018, we did planning where we collected seeds from a number of native plants, shrubs, and legumes. The intent is to use seeds that are locally derived, adapted to the dry environment. Over the summer, we had pretty heavy tumbleweed growth, so we had to come in with a, a chisel plow and basically take out most of the tumbleweeds in the area to basically prep the ground for seeding. Uh, the next step is the light decompaction, what we call for the uh, shallow six inches of soil and that the reason to do that is to break up the top layer of uh, soil cement that was applied by the crew that left the site when they demobilized to minimize wind erosion over the summer so we had to break that up with the chisel plow. Once that was done there was a number of areas where there was roads that had to be taken out so we came in with a cat dozer and basically went down about a foot and tore all that up to break up the heavily compacted roads once that was done, we also did some contouring in a few spots where during demobilization, the 61810 group left some berms in certain areas along the roads and along the back that had to basically be smoothed out to match the surrounding terrain. Once the prep work was done, we came in with the seeding equipment with a tractor and then we had a broadcast seeder. And the broadcast seeder would basically distribute the seeds on the surface They'd come in after that with some ring rollers and press the seed down into the soil. Once that was done, we'd get the tub grinders, which are basically large grinders, and they would take uh, large straw bales and spray it over the surface to cover the seeds to protect them from the, the wind, weather, and birds. And then they'd come back with a crimper and push that straw down in the soil to keep it from blowing away. Then the last step is planting the shrubs. So we had about 76,000 shrubs that we've got to plant by hand. And the laborers use a, a hoe dad, which is similar to a pickaxe where they dig a hole and they plant each shrub individually over the whole area. So our goal is about 600 plants per acre um, during that process. And that's pretty much the last step once we get all the plants planted. Probably towards the end of January, that'll wrap up our activity here. It's nice to see the, the area match the surrounding terrain and get back to what it used to look like.